This short educational video is designed to give you some information about the treatment you have been referred for. You have been referred for a course of narrowband ultraviolet treatment for your skin condition. What is ultraviolet B radiation? Ultraviolet rays are produced by the sun. Although they can't be seen, they are an important part of sunlight and are grouped into different wavelengths, UVA, UVB and UVC. UVA rays penetrate skin and cause it to darken or tan. UVB rays are mostly absorbed by the epidermis, which is the top layer of our skin and is responsible for sunburn. UVC rays are absorbed by the Earth's ozone layer, so they don't reach us. Narrowband UVB is a specific wavelength of ultraviolet B radiation, which is thought to be the most useful for treating skin conditions. Narrowband UVB can be used to treat psoriasis, eczema, cutaneous lymphoma, vitiligo, polymorphic light eruption and acne. Narrowband UVB has the following benefits. For many conditions, you are more likely to have longer periods where your symptoms are reduced and your skin improves for a period of time. Your doctor recommended this treatment for you. However, there may be other treatments available, such as PUVA. PUVA involves making your skin more sensitive to light by taking tablets and then exposing it to UVA light, or soaking your hands or feet in sorolin liquid, then exposing them to UVA light. On the day of your treatment. On the day of your treatment, do not wear perfumes, deodorants, aftershave lotions, or other cosmetic products. Some of these contain substances which may make your skin more sensitive to light. For example, deodorant, can cause patchy discoloration of the skin and take some months to fade. You can use deodorant after your treatment. For the same reason, please let us know if you have started any new medications, as some of these may cause your skin to become more sensitive to light. These include ibuprofen or herbal medications such as St John's wort. On treatment days, please don't apply any creams or ointments to your skin before you go into the machine, apart from an appropriate moisturiser. You should use a water-based moisturiser, such as Dipra-based cream. You can use any suitable water-based moisturiser. If you are unsure about which creams or lotions are suitable, please speak to one of the phototherapy nurses. Do not use oily creams, as these could cause burning and prevent the UVB from being absorbed. We suggest that you moisturise one to two hours beforehand, as this helps your skin to absorb the UV light. If you are not sure which creams you can use, please ask a member of the phototherapy department. You would apply a water-based moisturiser in smooth strokes in the direction of your hair growth. Allow the cream to soak in without rubbing it into your skin. This will avoid conditions like folliculitis, where cream can become trapped at the root of the hair follicle and cause irritation and possibly infection. During treatment, you need to minimise the risk of sunburn. We recommend that you cover up with long sleeve clothes, particularly on sunny days. You may also want to wear a hat. Use a sunscreen with a factor of at least 20 that protects against UVA and UVB rays. Reapply this regularly. Please do not sunbathe or use a sunbed during the whole course of your treatment. Let us know if you have a haircut or if for any other reason any areas of skin become newly exposed during the course of treatment. Arriving for your treatment. Let the nursing staff know that you have arrived. You. 
At your first visit, you will need to have a light test, which allows us to see your skin's tolerance to UVB. We need this to calculate your safe starting dose. You will need to come back 24 hours afterwards so we can examine the site where you had the light test. We will then be able to start your treatment. We usually ask that you remove all clothing, although you can keep your underwear on for your skin check. Men must either wear dark underwear or cover their genitalia with a sock or jock strap whilst in the booth. If you wear underwear, please make sure it covers the same area on each visit. If an area of skin that has previously been covered up is exposed to UVB, it may burn or blister. All right then. Are you happy for me to look at your skin all yeah, over? That's fine. Okay. If you turn round. So I'm going to look at your back first. The nurse will examine your skin on each visit. You can leave your underwear on for this part of the process. You will be asked some safety questions before each treatment. Please remove any jewellery you are wearing, including watches. Wedding bands can be left on. You will be supplied with protective goggles for your use only and lip paste that you should apply evenly to your lips if you are treating your face. This is to protect your lips during treatment. If you are wearing a visor, you won't need lip paste. We will give you goggles to protect your eyes and tell you how to stand in the machine to make sure all your affected skin receives the UVB rays. We will give you specific instructions on how to stand in the machine to ensure that all your skin is exposed evenly each time. After we have calculated the correct dose for you, we will turn on the machine. The time you're in the booth will depend on many factors, such as your skin type and the condition being treated. Your starting dose of UVB may only be a few seconds to start with and then be gradually built up. Please allow 15 to 30 minutes for your treatment to allow time for changing. We will explain this to you in more detail before your treatment and will closely monitor the amount of UVB you receive. We will increase the dose of UVB slightly with each treatment, as long as you have tolerated the previous treatment. The machine is quite bright and you may feel warm if you need to stay in the booth for a long time. Let us know if you find it uncomfortable, as we can give your treatment in divided doses. How often will I need to have this treatment? This depends on your skin condition, but this treatment is usually quite intensive. We generally give treatments two to three times a week for about 10 weeks. Therefore, you must make sure you can commit to this amount of time before you start the course of treatment. We do our best to keep your appointment time, but occasionally there may be a short queue. Please ask one of the nurses if you are concerned about your waiting time. Are there any risks? Possible risks are that your skin can occasionally become itchy and dry. Your skin condition could temporarily worsen. Your skin may burn, as with any form of sunlight. We will try to avoid this, but some tanning and redness of your skin is likely. Please let us know if your skin does become sunburnt. This usually develops 8 to 14 hours after your treatment, and usually settles within 24 hours. Occasionally, patients develop an itchy, prickly, heat-type rash, but it would be unusual for you to experience this for the first time during treatment. As with too much sun exposure, long-term use of UVB may age your skin and increase your risk of developing skin cancer. This risk is very slight at first, but increases after about 200 to 300 treatments. During a course of treatment, 
you will receive between 20 to 30 treatments. For this reason, there is a maximum limit to one course of treatment per year. If you do not wear the protective goggles in the unit, you risk developing sunburn-like reaction to your eyes within a few hours of exposure. It may also increase your risk of developing eye cataracts in the future. You may open your eyes during treatment only when you are wearing the protective goggles provided. If you have rosacea or a history of cold sores which can be aggravated by the sun, we will shield your face during treatment. UVB is most suitable for people with extensive skin problems, but may not be appropriate for you if you have very fair skin or if your skin condition becomes worse in sunlight. It is also important to note that your skin condition may flare up again. If it does, you will need further treatment of UVB or another type of treatment in the future to manage it. Don't forget that these risks will be discussed with you in detail during your pre-assessment. What might stop you being treated? Applying the wrong ointments and creams before treatment. Taking ibuprofen. Being unable to stand unaided for up to five minutes. A history of previous skin cancer. A history of falls or blackouts or skin conditions that are made worse by sunlight, such as lupus erythematous, xeroderma pigmentosum, or actinic dermatosis, or taking medications that suppress your immune system, for example cyclosporin or methotrexate, that can make your skin more sensitive to sunlight. Do I need to do anything after my treatment? After treatment you are free to go, please place your gown in the linen basket provided. Phototherapy nurses are always around to answer any questions you may have. You can apply any creams and ointments that you like at home. UVB tends to cause dryness to your skin, so you may find it more comfortable to use your moisturiser regularly, usually twice a day. Remember that before treatment, you should only apply a water-based moisturiser, unless otherwise discussed with the phototherapy nurses. If you develop sunburn, please treat your skin as you usually would after sunburn. If it is severe, please phone the unit for advice. However, this is usually rare. Please remember to let the nurses know of any reactions you have had from your treatments so that your time in the machine can be adjusted appropriately. It can be useful to keep a diary of any side effects so you can tell us what happened when the side effects started and how long they lasted for. After treatment, you may be discharged back to your GP or given a follow-up appointment by your referring consultant.